Hi everybody, um, I'm getting ready to go to the Brazilian Society of Geologies conference in southern Brazil next week, so I don't have a lot of time to make a big video, uh, but I wanted to say thank you very much to for all the positive comments that you've been sending, and to all the subscribers, I've reached a modest but very respectable 200 subscribers, so I hope to keep that growing, so thank you very much indeed. I also want to say a very quick thank you to Dalton, who had a structural geology test um, last week apparently, and he watched my geologizing the Baldy Hall of Brazilian Rolled Cake video, which is basically a demonstration of structural geology, and he said he was in doubt before the test about that, about the concepts of structural geology, but after he watched that video, he did very well on the test, and he thanked me very much, so that's really heartening to hear about that. So anyway, um, uh, very quickly, uh, last week I presented a video called Geologizing Love, and inside that video we talked about geological timescales. And one of the one of the um, things that I used to illustrate geological timescales was the thickness of a piece of paper, and how that basically one year, if one year represented one piece of paper, uh, how thick would our book have to be to get back so many million years? So very quickly now I wanted to, to basically expand upon that idea and make you see uh, how even the timescales that I was talking about last week are nothing compared to the age of the earth. All right, so um, just for those of you who haven't seen that video, the idea is that the average piece of paper has a thickness of 0.1 millimeters, so, just like this. So the average human being uh, in a developed country has a, a life expectancy of 80, 90 uh, years. And that means there's uh, 80 or 90 pages of a book, which is eight or nine millimeters. And get that here. There you go. And let's get over here, 500, give or take, pages of a book. There it is. That's a pretty thick book. So if you were to go back in time, you know, each page representing one year, 500 pages, you would find some pretty cool stuff happening. You would have, well, not so cool, the expansion of the Ottoman Empire, the start of the Protestant Reformation, and Leonardo da Vinci uh, died. So, you know, some interesting things happening 500 years ago. But that's obviously nothing compared to, for example, the history of all human uh, writing, or at least complex writing systems, such as in Mesopotamia, was the example I used in the last video. That was about 5,200 years ago, which means our book would have to be 52 kilometers, sorry, 52 centimeters thick to get back to ancient Mesopotamia. But that's actually nothing compared to the age of our species, for example. Paleoanthropologists disagree, but estimates range from 100 to 200,000 years ago. That's when the first Homo sapiens, our species, actually appeared and remained morphologically, anatomically identical to how we are today. So let's take an average of that. Um, 1,000, uh, yeah, 150,000 years. We'll multiply that by 0 0.1 millimeters and you get 15 meters. That's how thick our book has to be to get back to the beginning of our species. But even that is nothing compared to, for example, um, the first uh, apes or primates that walked upright. That was about four million years ago. To get back four million years, our book would have to be 400 meters thick. Pretty darn thick book. But even that is nothing compared to, for example, the KT boundary, which is when the dinosaurs went extinct 65 million years ago. How thick does our book have to be to get back 65 million years? 6.5 kilometers. Wow, that's actually pretty thick. But it's about half the age of the, of the example I gave in the previous video, Geologizing Love, of 120 million years, 
which is when I explained how events started to happen, which eventually led to me meeting my wife 11 years ago. If you don't understand, go and check out my previous video. But that was 12 kilometers. That's how book would, I'll, thick our book would have to be. But even that is absolutely peanuts compared to, for example, um, the biggest extinction of uh, all marine and terrestrial life ever to have occurred on Earth. That was at the Permian-Triassic boundary 252 million years ago. Our book would have to be 25 kilometers thick to get back to that point in time. But even that is nothing compared to an event called the Cambrian Explosion which occurred 600 million years ago. This is when the first very complicated life appeared. Suddenly trilobites arrived, sponges, and all kinds of animals which didn't have any precedent before. It would almost appeared like magic. Almost, but it wasn't. That was 600 million years ago. How thick did our book, would our book have to be to get back 600 million years? You got it. 60 kilometers. Well, that's pretty thick. All of complex life? Actually, that is nothing compared to the very first indications of life we have on Earth. Geologists refer to a curtain that comes down over the geological record after a certain point. It means that when things get too old, billions and billions of years old, then the rocks get deformed, metamorphosed, and it, the signal gets very distorted. It makes it very difficult to make exact interpretations and conclusions. But one of the best signals we have, one of the clearest signals we have for life was around about, as a start, was around about 3.7 billion years ago. 3.7 billion years multiplied by 0 0.1 millimeter is 370 kilometers. That is a very, very thick book. And it is old. Even compared to the age of the universe, it's pretty old. The age of the Earth is 4.5 billion years, give or take. So that's 450 kilometers. And the age of the universe, our best estimates are, 13.5 billion years, which means our book would have to be 1,350 kilometers thick. Wow. If you compare that to the history of life on Earth, which is 370 kilometers, compare it to 1,350 kilometers, we're talking about just less than a third of the age of the entire universe. So life is actually pretty old. The spotlight of time moves over the geological records and we are, it is complete luck that we are here to witness the world and understand it and interpret it and appreciate it. So 80 years, that's 80 pages of a book. Here it is. How many of those could you fit into 370 kilometers? The fact that you are alive now in this little tiny window of time is extremely fortuitous. So for me, it gives an urgency that we use this tiny window that has been given to us to the best possible effect. And it also puts into perspective all the wars and disagreements that occur between the different peoples and tribes of the world. How petty these things are, how transient compared to the geological record. And if we appreciate the time that we have left and we use it accordingly, then maybe we'll be able to be more transformative in the world and make it a better place. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Next week, as I said, I will be in southern Brazil and I won't be able to make any videos. Uh, so see you in a couple of weeks. Bye for now.